In October 2024, Tesla released a number of groundbreaking products at the Robot World Exhibition, which attracted widespread attention in the industry. Tesla CEO Elon Musk personally introduced a number of innovations, including humanoid robots, robot vans, and driverless taxis to the public. The CCP also has great ambitions in this field and seeks to dominate. In this episode, we will take a look at Chinese robotics. From October 12 to 14, 2024, the Shanghai New International Expo Center held the 2024 Shanghai International Artificial Intelligence Robot UAV Exhibition. Here is what we see from Chinese social media. The company showcases two robot dogs. The larger one can stand on four legs, though the smaller robot dog appears to be more stable when it's standing. However, when this robot dog tried to stand on two legs, both legs shook before it fell over. The onlookers couldn't help but laugh. It can't stand steadily. It's only been a little while. I think its legs are shaking. Chinese netizens commented, the artificial intelligence is retarded, and this robot seems drunk. On the overseas X platform, some Chinese netizens also suggested that the CCP has not yet stolen all the American technologies. They wrote, I guess the open source code has not yet been understood. The responsibility lies with the United States, since there are too few open source materials in Boston, which has greatly hindered the development of robotics in China. What surprised the Chinese audience the most, however, was the sight of a domestically produced robot eating. In August of 2024, the 2024 World Robot Conference was co-sponsored by the Beijing Municipal Government, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology of China, and the China Association for Science and Technology. On August 25, many manufacturers exhibited various robots they had developed. Though their company's technology is lacking and they haven't been able to build a decent robot, they have apparently found a way around their deficiency. A Chinese manufacturer hired real models and disguised them as quote-unquote robots through makeup and other means. Later, the manufacturer claimed that they were called simulated robots. Of course, the manufacturer did not inform visitors of this during the exhibition. The first reaction of many visitors to the exhibition when they saw these simulated robots was surprise and fear. Many thought that these robots were too lifelike, and AI technology had become too powerful. A robot, right? This is the scene where the model robot appears. Although they do look a lot like robots, the public observing the scene nevertheless saw through the trick. <laughs> My friend, the most confusing thing has happened in 2024. Beijing held the World Robot Conference a few days ago, and many manufacturers participated in the exhibition. One of them claimed to have made a truly human-like bionic robot. But what was confusing was that they used two real models, had them put on clothes similar to the robot shell, added makeup, and made them act like robots. Pay attention. The ones at the back that have fixed equipment and can only move in place are the real robots. This is how people react when they see these simulated robots. This next robot is beautiful. So true. My position is not good. Let me move quickly. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Hey, that's not right. Is this fake? Why are you wiping away sweat? As you can see in this video, it was probably very hot at that time. There were dedicated staff wiping the sweat off a robot with paper towels and blowing air on the robot with a handheld electric fan. It seems that the manufacturer cares very much about the models, and especially arranged staff to blow fans on the robots to relieve them from the heat. The situation of the following robot is rather depressing, as she was seen eating among the audience. During the intermission, the model was seen eating a box lunch off the stage. The event hasn't ended yet. I don't know if the manufacturer didn't say anything on purpose or if this was a hint. 
many viewers gathered around. As you can see from the video, people at the scene touched the robot one after another, making her almost cry. It can be said that these audience members are rather vile, because they know they're not touching a robot, but rather a model. They believe that since the company is advertising her as a robot, they can therefore take advantage of the opportunity to touch her. <laughs> This is the scene where the robot that has been touched by everyone is walking in public while holding a cup of coffee. Ah, drinking coffee made by a robot. Coffee made by robots. After watching the video of the robot being touched by people, netizens left messages saying, quote, The robot girl was wronged. Ethics and morals are very important. The model is so pitiful. Some netizens left a message saying, quote, This hurts to watch. Sister robot was wronged. As the news of models pretending to be robots continues to grow, a makeup artist simply posted a video of the entire process of dressing up the two female models into robots online, which once again aroused the attention of netizens. Everyone, today will be the most difficult challenge of my career. I will be challenged to use makeup to paint a real robot. We are robot makeup artists. We are putting makeup on robots. We have made two robots for you. One is called Girl's Dream and the other is Little White Sweet. I promise Do you like it? I kind of like it. This is the scene after the two robots were delivered to the exhibition venue. Oh my god, which one of these three is the robot? Which one is fake? Which one is true? Can't tell at all. What's going on? People. Due to this situation, many netizens commented saying that China fakes everything or that this is considered cosplay at best. Quote, top secret, don't post it outside the internet. Quote, when it comes to fakes, China is really far ahead. Quote, although they cannot build robots, they sure have the ability to cosplay robots. Some people lamented, quote, No, are they actually proud of their way of doing things? This is more suited to an anime convention than this kind of occasion. After the news about models pretending to be robots came out, some people were inspired by this and also dressed up as robots in public. In October 2024, a beautiful robot appeared on the streets of Chongqing handing out flyers, attracting passerbys to watch. <laughs> Is the skin still simulated skin? Give me one. Of course, some netizens wonder how these models can do this without shame. This quote-unquote beautiful robot is the owner of a hoppa restaurant. She used to be a street dancer and usually likes robot dance. She often dresses up as a robot in the store and she has also participated in shows performing as a robot. In the era of economic downturn, a model that can bring traffic on the internet emerging will be quickly followed up by businessmen seeking to capitalize. Now, playing a robot has become a new fashion. Now let's take a more serious turn and talk about the CCP's development of AI. From July 4th to 7th, 2024, the 2024 World Artificial Intelligence Conference and High-Level Conference on Global Governance of Artificial Intelligence, co-organized by multiple ministries or institutions such as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the National Development and Reform Commission, the Ministry of Education, 
and the Ministry of Science and Technology was held in Shanghai. The Chinese media First Financial News broadcasted more than 30 so-called high-end theme interviews specifically for this AI conference and interviewed professional guests from various fields such as science and technology, academia, and business in the program studio. On the surface, the Chinese government attaches great importance to this conference. But the first financial news messed up. A live clip of the first financial news interview program was uploaded to the internet by netizens with the title Robot Won't Listen, which caused heated discussions. From the video, we can see that before discussing artificial intelligence technology with the two guests, the hostess contacted her AI assistant robot Qingbao and asked it to perform ballet. The humanoid robot Qingbao just stretched out its arms and said sorry. The hostess had to make the same request again and again, and the robot either replied sorry or responded oh, what's the matter? In short, the hostess asked this robot to dance six times, but she refused. The male staff backstage had to come out and personally ask it to dance, but the robot still wouldn't dance. The whole situation was rather awkward. Hello, Qingbao. I am here. Let's do ballet. Sorry. Hello, Qingbao. As a robot, I can't perform directly. I am here. Let's do ballet. Sorry, as a robot, I can't. Hello, Qingbao. Then I can simulate. It's still a little shy. Let's try it one last time. One last time. Hello, Qingbao. Got it. Go ahead. Please do ballet. Sorry. As a cognitive intelligence, what's wrong? A male staff member in the backstage can be heard asking Qingbao to dance a ballet. I can't dance ballet because I am a robot and have no body. <laughs> Are you nervous? It just danced for us. Likely because this live broadcast scene was becoming too awkward, the male staff member backstage gave the AI robot another order. Hello, Qingbao. What's wrong? Dance a ballet. Okay. I can dance ballet. Maybe it still needs some time to prepare. This video made the confident CCTV host very embarrassed during the live broadcast and also made many netizens laugh. Everyone left messages saying, ha ha ha, so funny. They used it to deceive and it failed on the spot. Some netizens mocked the CCP and said, it's very advanced. A netizen broke the news and said, I went to see it live and the robot's legs couldn't move. Some netizens lamented, oh, the voice intelligence of 10 years ago was at this level already. It's still the same now. Some netizens seemed to be inspired and said, quote, you see, even a robot is willing to refuse unreasonable requests, but workers will quietly endure 996. 996 refers to the fact that Chinese workers need to work 6 days a week, and the working hours every day are from 9am to 9pm. The performance of the above robots reflect the current state of AI technology in China. It can be said that AI robotics in China are little more than commercial advertisements. Chinese robots are not yet capable of performing complex actions like humans can, and current technology is far from the high-end capabilities of AI robotics that the CCPU wants to display to the outside world. Therefore, the above exhibition is to a certain extent commercial fraud. Some analysts believe that there are three differences between the CCP and the United States in the development of AI technology. First, the CCP does not have high-end chips. Second, it does not have access to cutting-edge technology from other developed countries. Third, as a totalitarian country led by the Communist Party, China's ability in collecting and using big data for AI research is unmatched by any other country. But at the same time, China's big data is also flawed. 
Because AI technology relies on correct data input, China, as a very politically sensitive country, must avoid many sensitive terms and events when inputting data. Consequently, the results of the AI's training will be skewed. We believe that the biggest problem facing China's high-tech research is a common problem of the Chinese Communist Party's system, which is corruption. No matter how much money is invested, it will eventually flow into the private pockets of officials or so-called experts. In Communist China, where everyone dreams of getting rich overnight, there are few who are able to focus on the grind of research. Therefore, no matter how much the CCP claims to do high-tech independent research and development, no matter how much it emphasizes that it controls a world-class artificial intelligence conference, it will still inevitably fail. That's all for today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you for your support. See you next time.